seven years ago, a teenage transgender named Ricky records a video about her mother. In the present, Ricky is working in a coffee shop while chatting with her guy friend Robbie. Ricky complains about guys who just want to get in her pants, and she jokingly says maybe she should date girls. A while later, a girl named Francesca walks in. She's modest and virtuous, while Ricky is outspoken and vulgar. However, Francesca is having fun talking with her. When she left, Robbie teases Ricky, but she dismisses it. The two are on the way to their swimming spot, and Robbie continues to tease his friend about Francesca. Ricky does not like her, because she's rich and conservative, and she might not be into transgender girls. When they reach the lake, Francesca coincidentally appears. She compliments Ricky's bathing suit, and is more impressed when she learns that Ricky made it herself because she's a designer. She has applied for a fashion school, and is just waiting for their reply. Ricky learns that Francesca is engaged to be married to a Marine who's assigned in Afghanistan. Francesca asks her if Robbie is her boyfriend, and Ricky denies it, saying they're just best friends. Plus, Robbie does not like transgenders like her. Francesca, who's been oblivious, is surprised when she hears this. Growing up in a religious community, Francesca asks a lot of questions about her transgender identity. Ricky says she's been planning to get full surgery someday, but it's just so expensive. They get interrupted when Robbie comes out of the water. He asks Francesca who is her fiancé, and when she mentions David Appleby, Robbie remembers that it was the kid who used to bully Ricky in school before, but Ricky does not remember. When she arrives home, Ricky checks the mailbox, but there's no reply yet from the fashion school. She lives together with her father and her younger brother Sam. Her father is very much supportive with her and is very confident that she'll become a great designer one day. That evening, Francesca video calls her marine fiancé David. We learn that she is saving her V-card for their marriage. When she mentions Ricky, David gets so mad, and he seems to be transphobic, which upsets Francesca. While chatting with Robbie, Ricky texts Francesca to come over, and moments later, she arrives. Francesca finds out that she has a YouTube fashion channel with just over 1,000 followers. She joins Rick in the video as they talk about their outfit, and Francesca enjoys it a lot. When Sam goes to bed, the two continues chatting, and Francesca learns that Ricky is more of a mom than sister to Sam because their mother died of cancer when Sam was only one. Francesca asks if she's never been with a girl, and Ricky says no, not even kissed one. Francesca says she's never kissed a girl either, and they start to get intimate, but Ricky quickly dismisses it. She says she does not want to ruin her engagement, but Francesca says she wants to live her life out loud like Ricky does. The two starts making out, but then Francesca regrets it, and leaves. On the video that Ricky made, her mom did not actually die, rather, she left them, because she is ashamed of Ricky. She also reveals that she has taken illegal substances, and almost ended her life. The next day, Ricky admits to Robbie that Francesca kissed her. Her best friend is shocked, and warns her not to mess around because Francesca's fiancé is a nut. Ricky says she isn't scared of him, and it wouldn't happen again. But in case it happens again and escalates, Ricky asks how would she make love to a girl. Though uncomfortable, Robbie teaches his best friend how to do it from start to finish. Francesca later arrives and apologizes for walking out last night. She tells Ricky that she needs a dress for a party and asks her help to find one. Before leaving, Francesca says she liked what happened last night, and Ricky smiles. The two starts looking for a dress, but they aren't a lot of options to choose, so Ricky decides to go to Target and make dress for Francesca out of tablecloth. She is measuring Francesca when the two start to get intimate again. Ricky is worried she might steal Francesca's V-card from her fiancé, but the engaged woman reveals that she lost it already when she was 15 and was just lying to David. While doing it, David calls, but Francesca ignores it, and they just continue what they're doing. The next day, Robbie learns about Ricky's affair with Francesca, and they are disputing whether Ricky is already straight for doing that. They later arrive at Francesca's house, and Ricky hands over the dress she made. Francesca loves it a lot, and even Robbie is impressed by it. She then invites the two to the party, and though Ricky is hesitant, Francesca insists until she finally accepts. At the party, Francesca introduces her friends to her parents. Her father, who turns out to be a politician, gives a little speech. Using his connections, he was able to bring David back and surprise Francesca. The couple reunites, and everyone is happy except for Ricky and Robbie. When they are alone, David confronts his fiancé about making a YouTube video with Ricky. Francesca says it was just a harmless video about clothes, but David says he does not want her to hang out with a sick freak. Her parents notice them arguing, and David reveals that Ricky is a boy. 
He continues insulting Ricky, and they go into argument, making a scene. When Francesca implies that something happened with her and Ricky, David gets mad and tries to hit her. But then her dad grabs him, warning him to respect his daughter. He lets him go, and David walks away. That evening, Sam uses Ricky's laptop when he stumbles into a video that his sister made, revealing how their mother left them because she's ashamed of her. One day, the postman finally delivers a mail, which makes Ricky nervous. It's from the fashion school, but before she can open it, David appears, looking mad. Ricky tries to ignore him but David tackles her down and threatens to hit her. But then Ricky reminds him of their secret, which makes David stop. It turns out that David took Ricky's V-card and is the only man she ever slept with. She never said their secret because David is still special to her. David sees Francesca's car coming, so he quickly leaves. Francesca insistently asks what's going on, but Ricky just tells her to talk to David. When Francesca asks why she has not returned her calls, Ricky says they should stop seeing each other. Francesca is heartbroken and leaves. When she left, Ricky opens the letter, but to her disappointment, she did not make it to the fashion school. She spends the day feeling down in her room. Robbie comes over, saying he heard her break up with Francesca. Ricky seems not to care about it, which makes Robbie mad and carelessly insulted her sexual identity. Ricky says he'll never understand her lone struggles. Robbie reminds her that he's been on her side since they were six, and Ricky says that's the reason why she never thought he would judge her. Robbie regrets what he said, but Ricky says everything is fine, and leaves. He tries to go after her, but Sam pulls him to watch Ricky's video, where part of it says she thought of ending her life before, but she never tells anyone, and just pretends everything is fine. The exact word she said before leaving. Afraid that Ricky might do something to herself, Robbie quickly runs away to find her. He goes looking for her in the bar and around town, but he couldn't find her. He runs to their swimming spot, screaming Ricky's name. He is relieved when he finds her just swimming on the lake. Robbie says he saw the video and asks why she never told him any of those things. Ricky says he is her only friend, and he might leave if he thought she's crazy or something. Robbie apologizes for what he said and confesses that he was just jealous of Francesca. He tells her that she's beautiful, and Ricky comes out of the water naked. She asks Robbie if he still thinks she's beautiful, and Robbie walks over to kiss her. Ricky also confesses that she loved Robbie since they were kids, but she thought he was not into transgenders. Next morning, Robbie tells her that she should still pursue her dream as a fashion designer, but Ricky has given up hope, saying it was just a silly dream, and she does not have the money to put up a clothing line or go to New York. Meanwhile, Francesca apologizes to David for cheating. David asks if she's still in love with him, and she says yes. However, she does not understand why he hated transgender so much, like Ricky. That is when David confesses that he slept with her, before she starts dating Francesca. David hates himself for doing it, which translated to him hating Ricky. The two reconcile and decide to give their relationship another chance. Before going to work, Robbie tells Ricky to check her mail. She is puzzled why there are random mails addressed to her, and when she checks it, they all contain money and messages encouraging her. Confused, she asks Robbie what's going on, and Sam later comes out to show her a video of a famous designer talking about how she loved Ricky's dress, and asks her followers to donate a dollar so Ricky could start her clothing line. Moments later, the postman arrives together with David and Francesca, who wear helping carry sacks full of letters. Francesca reveals that it was Robbie's idea to send her dress to the famous designer. The couple wishes her good luck in New York, which Ricky very much appreciated. Before leaving to New York, Ricky's father tells Robbie to take care of her daughter, to which he assures him he would. Sam tells his sister to post the video, and Ricky tells him to post it for her. When they left, Sam uploads the video of Ricky during her teenager years. People on the internet watches and is inspired on how she battled her depression by thinking about the people she loved, the things she should be grateful for, and how lucky she was to be alive despite the circumstances. Did you like our movie recap? Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. To be updated for new movie recaps, hit the notification bell.